this is going to be probably the most important video I have recorded till date. I am going to talk about bidding strategies. I am going to uh, look at all the bidding strategies, explain it to you, break it down to the dumbest level possible, slow it down and explain how these bidding strategies work. Why? Because when I interview candidates, this is one question I ask them, what is your preferred bidding strategy? And a lot of them say manual CPC. I don't know why, uh, but this is 2022 and, and probably they are saying this because either they don't understand the automated and smart bidding strategies or they have not used it or probably they are just following the norm. So I thought it's important to explain what these bidding strategies are and why they are important and how they scheme of, uh, fit in the scheme, uh, grand scheme of things. All right. So let's hop right into it. I'm going to share my screen by the way. All right. So you can see my screen. Um, there are two types of bidding strategies. Manual bidding, this one and automated or smart bidding this one please be very very clear this is very very significant understanding these two type of bidding strategies because manual bidding means you are looking for control let's highlight this one that, that's not a bad thing but is does this align to your campaign goal does this align to your business goal are you making the best use of this bidding strategy it's probably the question these are probably the questions you are not asking yourself and therefore you are blindly married <laughs> for life <laughs> to something like manual cpc then there are automated bidding strategies which is already the future and this is how the future looks like from here. So let's understand the difference. <clears throat> when you go for manual bidding, you are actually telling Google that, hey Google, I want all of my, con all the control in my hand and I want to bid for it. Now, if you went for a real auction, like real auction, physical auction that happens, um, you wouldn't let the machine bid do the bidding for you because there is one auctioneer, there are things on the auction and there are a bunch of people sitting and therefore you would like to call the shots and therefore manual bidding makes sense but here on google ads we are talking about a real-time auction taking place every time there is a search made and your ad gets into an auction a real-time bidding takes place imagine how many real-time bids auctions are taking place therefore for you to be sitting and managing those real-time bids is practically impossible okay. get this straight you just can't <laughs> possibly manage those bids appropriately efficiently effectively what people generally do with manual bidding is that they set the umbrella bid that for the entire ad group or they go down to the keyword level and say that, okay, for this keyword, I want this bid and for that keyword, I want this, this bid, that bid, sorry. But what happens is that it's often gets, it often gets overlooked. People set the bids, forget it. What happens is that your, sorry, an hour or two down the line, let's say the floor price has increased or competition has increased and therefore your keywords are falling short of the bid, maximum, um, like <laughs> eligible bid and you're not watching those in real time and therefore you are missing out on the traction that you could be getting. So it's very, very important to get this uh, clarity that manual bids are difficult to manage. We're talking about uh, hundreds of keywords, different ad groups, campaigns and um, this is not efficient for you like you shouldn't be the one sitting there and managing those bits manually it's not efficient uh, although having the control is a good thing but it's not efficient what automated bidding can do is 
take away a lot of this um, manual work and like there is deep level of machine learning available and AI is there to make smarter decisions in real time for your campaigns right and work towards achieving your campaign goals advertising goals therefore it's super super important to understand the power of automated or smart bidding strategies and make great use of them i'm not against manual bidding and one more time all i am saying is that you got to be aware of the power of automated and smart bidding strategies because that's where google is headed and that's where all the different campaign types are being like that that's how the campaigns are being structured and therefore you have something called performance max all right so um, let's like drill down a bit, little bit more into the uh, manual and smart bidding strategies so very simple manual bidding are manual cpc max cpv these are manual bids automated maximize conversions maximize conversion value uh, target impression share target cp and target rows is still available in display uh, these are automated or smart bidding strategies <laughs> when you go reading about automated and smart bidding strategies this is kind of kind of gets confusing like all of these are smart uh, automated bidding strategies not all of these are smart right so except target impression share everything else is a smart bidding strategy uh, because they work towards conversion goals or revenue goals right um, that's the only difference otherwise smart and manual is pretty much the same term now when you are selecting the appropriate bidding strategy here are the three things you need to keep in mind are you going for getting more visibility are you planning to get more clicks or are you planning to get more conversions what really affects the bottom line of your business it's very easy to <laughs> get this wrong and it's very easy therefore to set up the campaigns and use the wrong bidding strategy in your case so think very very carefully visibility means i want everybody in my targeting to see my ad i don't care if they click on it I don't care if they purchase, convert, I'm willing to take that risk and I want to make sure that my ad is shown to everybody, target impression share or CPM, CPB, you can go those kind of, with those kind of bidding strategies, CPB, CPM is display, um, CPB is video, target impression share is search, alright. There is a subset of visibility which is uh, views or interactions. That's when you can um, do viewable CPM and max CPB uh, bidding strategies. But there is slight different here. The difference here. This is a kind of a subset. All right. Let me um, mark it this way. All right. <clears throat> so if visibility is the only target that you have, and you got to ask yourself very very carefully if that's the target, you should go for these visibility focused bidding strategies but there are times when you would want to get clicks and get as many clicks as possible like aggressive go to market strategy for your newly launched product or service you would want people to click on your ad and come to your website at this point maybe you are not uh, like uh, considering them to convert there are specific cases where maximize clicks might make sense and you can try that very well but you should know that by focusing the campaign using the bidding strategy maximize clicks you are going to get clicks necessarily and google is going to spend your money towards getting clicks not necessarily conversions manual cpc you're trying to control the bid of every uh, like keyword or ad group and therefore manual cpc makes great sense Enhanced CPC uh, can be turned on on manual CPC to optimize it for conversions. Okay, so um, these are click focus bidding strategies. Now, the real game, the real outcome that 
most businesses in most cases would want to achieve is convergence or get more sales, get more signups, get more leads, get more sales, get more revenue. If that's the case and that's the campaign goal, you shouldn't be using the visibility or click based bidding strategies. You should be going for conversion focused bidding strategies, which are also called smart bidding strategies. Performance Max, for example, it wouldn't even let you use CPC, your manual CPC. The idea is very simple. They want you to focus on conversions. But you, uh, as an advertiser or advertising consultant, should have this absolute clarity that you necessarily want to go for conversions because that's the end goal, right? Otherwise, why would you not put your ads on TV? <laughs> So uh, when you are going for convergence, choose between maximize conversions or conversion value. Ideally, a very simple uh, you know, uh, explanation is that when you are going for leads, when you want to generate leads, now leads may not have the dynamic value assigned or you may not be in a position to properly ascertain how much is a lead worth to you and therefore you might not be able to define the uh, value of every lead and in those cases maximize conversions will be a better bidding strategy but when you are running an online shop like a e-commerce store uh, using shopify or wordpress or any other shopping platform uh, e-commerce platform you would be selling products and the products will have different prices uh, different price points and therefore just going for convergence might not make sense because one product might be worth $10, the other might be $100 and the next could be $50 and therefore not every conversion is bringing, is bringing the same uh, level of value to you, right? So in that case, Google lets you use this bidding strategy, maximize conversion value. Super, super important. What it means is that you are asking Google uh, to align its machine learning uh, and smart bidding strategy to go for getting more sales, generate more revenue for you and therefore maximize conversion value. Now in these two cases, you can also set a target uh, CPA goal with maximize conversions and a target return on ad spend goal with maximize conversion value. Why? Because Let's say your budget is $100 a day. You're telling Google that, hey, on my campaign, my goal is to get conversions. And my bidding strategy is therefore maximize conversions. $100 is my per day budget. Go get me as many conversions as possible. So you're letting that control be with Google. So Google is going to try and spend your money, which is $100 per day, and try and get you as many conversions as possible. Now, that may not always be the ideal case because let's say you are your lead average lead cost the value of average lead is let's say around dollar 20. now you don't want um, to get just uh, let's say two conversions in a day because that's what google can get with maximize conversion uh, bidding strategy you want to keep the cost per conversion around dollar 20. And in that case, you would use the target CPA goal. You will give it a target CPA goal saying that, hey, Google, you know what? $100 per day is my budget, but I want to get my conversions at $20. So do not prioritize spending my budget per day unless you can get the conversions at $20. And therefore, Google is going to work harder for you and try and get you conversions when we, only when it's likely to come around dollar 20 mark okay may not be precise but that's the that's how the campaign or uh, bidding strategy of machine learning is going to work towards now you know what let me actually uh, move it here there you go so now you can understand it better all right so um this is oops okay so uh, 
target CPM with maximized conversions with maximized conversion value why do you need to use target ROAS target return on ad spend again I will give you another example let's say your campaign's daily budget is dollar hundred and you with maximized conversion value bidding strategy you are telling Google that hey Google go ahead and find as much sales or revenue as you can within my hundred dollar per day budget what will Google do it will try on spending the budget and this is very very clear differentiation and you, you have you got to understand this it's going to try and spend your budget and try and get you sales but the focus has to be sp on spending the budget right not necessarily getting you sales on a particular return on ad spend goal and that's when you can step in and say that hey google now that you are spending my budget for example how about try and get me let's say 400 percent return on ad spend which means that you are now adding another leash saying that try and spend my budget but only when you can get me 400 percent return on ad spend and that's when target return on ad spend bidding strategy becomes super super valuable okay i hope you understand the differentiation because unless you understand you will not be able to make the best use of it we go several layers deep uh, in using these conversion focused bidding strategy we have a method called stair stepping method uh, which we use to <laughs> sort of manipulate the machine learning and these smart bidding strategies to get us both the return on ad spend as well as grow our sales like keep scaling the campaign up and up uh, but that's something i would want to discuss on a different video later for now i hope you are able to understand the clear differentiation between these uh, manual and automated and smart bidding strategies and you would have the mindset to start using automated or smart bidding strategies because that's where the google is headed and that's good for you because if machines can <laughs> do the bidding in real time much faster and have access to much greater set of data uh, at their disposal why would you want to work that hard and sweat it out and try and beat the machine <laughs> machine learning ai in managing your bids so <clears throat> That's all. That's all for today. Uh, I have a request though. Um, if you found this helpful, please give it a like. Uh, add, ask a question if you have, or give a compliment, criticize if I have missed anything. Um, because it really, really helps this video. Uh, I mean, be discovered by more people like you. And uh, this is free. So anybody who can, uh, find this video uh, can use this help uh, improve their understanding about Google Ads and become a better Google Ads specialist. Thank you.